Hi, I'm Mark Wagenbier and I'm also known as Bicycle Dutch and today I'm showing John Zimmerman of Active Towns, my hometown, Sertogenbos, the Duke's Forest in the south of the Netherlands. And I hope you enjoy. I made yeah. a, a map of what our plan, but I don't know if we cycle everything, but okay. there's also links. I wrote a blog, blog post about this. Perfect. Okay. So there's links in there. Excellent. We use that map more often. <laughs> I didn't make it specific for today. Oh, come on, Mark! <laughs> I adapted it uh. for today. <laughs> I was expecting a special no, one. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to update because so many things changed. <laughs> and then this used to be the road outside and, and now there's a road. So they, they made this turn, a 90 degree angle. Right. Yeah, because there was no room. Yeah. Stupid. to turn on my app. Forgot. I now turned on an app that I'm cycling so all the traffic lights know that I'm coming. Ah. And they will be green earlier. So tell a little bit more about that app and, and what's happening with yeah, that. Yeah, so Certo Hombos and a few other cities in the Netherlands if you can hear me over that roar of traffic. <laughs> they have an app, so you can connect to the traffic light installations in the city. In Sert Hombos, they're all. In Utrecht, there are a few, and I believe Tilburg has it too. What it does, you, there are already detection loops in the street, but we are detected now like 100 meters ahead and not 25. Right. And that gives them more than enough time in the cycles to adjust the cycles so that you get green the moment you arrive at the traffic light almost. That's brilliant. Yeah, and especially outside peak hours, it really works. Yeah. So yeah. Very nice. Yeah. This is a really nice area. This used to be a four lane road until they made the, round, the circular road around the city. Yeah. And then they turned it back to two, uh, two uh, lanes. Yeah. And I'm sure the, the trees love that for their roots yeah yeah because they were up to the street was up to the trees and now they have more space again yeah really nice 1930s big housing and we're now actually leaving the town this is the Vuchterweg so that means the road to Vught <laughs> Yeah, straight on, yeah. Now see if it works, the app. <laughs> it should turn green when we come. See, here's sure the loops. Does. Yeah, it uh, does. I didn't touch the, yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't touch the loops and, uh, yeah. Uh, this used to be the main north-south route through the country and I even experienced that until 1973, I think. Okay. Then they built the highway around the city. That's the swamp that prevented the city from expanding this way. And that's a monument, that's a heritage site, that gas station from 1938. Is it just a museum or something? No, you can hire it as a, for, uh, for meetings. You came from here with the train. This used to be an ordinary roundabout with bicycle uh, priority. So let's wait here and I can explain a bit about it. Because now 
they turn it into a turbo roundabout. And turbo roundabout and level cycling crossings, that is no, no. Yeah. So preferably not. So that is why they now built two bike overpasses. The thing is, this roundabout didn't work because on a roundabout, traffic needs to be spread evenly. Right. And all traffic was coming from there and going there and coming from there and going there. So mm -hmm. the other two arms were minor. Right. And then things clock up. Right. So they turn it into a roundabout now with turbo uh, facilities, which means you cannot change lanes on the roundabout. You see those, uh, we call them pigs, right. backs. <laughs> yeah. So you can't cross it. So you ch choose a lane ahead of the roundabout and then you stay in lane and you simply go outside again. If you follow it, you, you see that they will always go out. Right. They will always spin out. Yeah. And traffic coming from the highway entering the city has a separate bypass so they can just bypass the roundabout altogether those cars don't even touch the roundabout right right and that's all for the traffic throughput and you don't want cyclists participating in all that so right the cyclists just pass over it right and yeah. the funny thing is that roundabout was sunken so we are on street level and the cars are like two three meters below below uh, ground level I mean. right where I we were sea level, yeah. I meant ground level brilliant yeah and this is actually the old road you can see by the trees the trees we we st stayed in the middle of the trees that was right. the old road yeah and uh, they made this uh, next to it yeah that roundabout was only 10 years old and they changed it completely right that's Absolutely. what we do in the netherlands we yeah. keep adapting and keep changing things yeah uh, Google Street View hates the Netherlands because the moment they take the pictures, a year later everything is different already. Foolishly <laughs> 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 wealthy and yes. they didn't want the cycle pass so they got this hedge. Okay. So, <laughs> the city said we have not had so much resistance ever because these guys are really right. <laughs> That's not for the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're in a different town now. No, so we're in, we are we're in a different in town. Vught. Yeah. Okay. Vught. And we just scr scratch it. But as you can see, even the small towns they have cycling infrastructure, and there's no problem with the uh, driveways. Right. There's driveways all along, all along here. Yeah. So this is a really good example of how you can implements cycling infrastructure yeah. and driveways and that was a quick response of both of us wasn't yeah it? yeah <laughs> we know what's what could have happened yeah 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 oh someone's coming the yeah, um, yeah. is this uh, talk a little bit about this design with the parking protected yeah so this is this is actually the gold standard almost where you uh, swap the place of the cycleway and the parked cars so that the parked cars are in the middle and you are far away from the uh, moving traffic yeah and it's i also like better to, for the pedestrians they are also further away they're further away moving traffic now it's okay, very good now for we're, smaller children we're approaching we're approaching uh yeah we're in a different, the, different, it's town a, now. different municipality that doesn't work a here. different town <laughs> our magic doesn't work here no it doesn't <laughs> as you can see because we're standing yeah yeah well, we only scratch this town we go out of it so that we can see them boss in the distance yeah I usually use uh, Den Bos in speech, mm -hmm. and I always write Certo Ah, interesting. So that's the official name, but yep, it's yeah. so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A bit of Copenhagen here, where you are directly next to the road. We don't like that at all in the Netherlands, but right. sometimes it's a space issue. Right. It's better than not having it at all. Right. And every municipality does cycling infrastructure in their own way. Right. Because uh, there are guidelines, but they're just that. So you, there's not law on how you have to design cycling infrastructure. There's a guidebook with good guidance. We go right. left here. We've seen enough of this town already. <laughs> The 
guidebooks are very different on bullets like that. That was not according to the latest design yeah. specification. So it really is autumn with all the leaves, isn't it? Good that they're not wet, because that right. gives you like a drab substance. So there, on this tour, there's a little bit of everything. Also very old fashioned um, overpasses like that one. Uh -huh. This bollard is, is, is designed according to the design specification. You can see the white lines leading up to them. Right. So that you can uh, better see them. This is good. Well, you need it because it, this can be very dark here at night. Right. And this is a very old fashioned design, so it is dark and gloomy. <laughs> right. We have a whole bunch of stuff from before in the Netherlands too of course and there in the distance is the cathedral of Serta Hombos standing out like it isn't still the middle ages because there's no town expansion on this side of the town right so that is really nice Serta Hombos <laughs> oh sorry Startled her. <laughs> was not my intention. Yeah, there's even a viewpoint, but we can see it from the bike as well. <laughs> we turn around a little bit. This is the river, the Dommel. A beer is named after it, Dommels. And you can see the levees, the dikes, because this could flood. Last time it flooded was 1995. The whole area was under two meters of water. Oh, wow. And they said, well, mm, no, we don't really like that. Yeah. We got a letter from the council saying, we can't guarantee your cellar to remain dry. <laughs> yeah. But fortunately, we escaped. We got left here. This is actually a pump to pump the water. And that's the A2 motorway. The wind is so that we can hear it now. Right. Not so nice, but oh well. For in between cities, the car is not too awful, I think. It's the only rightful use is intercommunal travel by car. So I noticed we were just on a, uh, would you call that a feats pod that we were on and are on? This is, yeah, a feats pod. A yeah. feats pod, okay. A separate, we call that a solitary cycle route. A solitary cycle route. Yeah, it's route. not connected to any roads. Right. Because the roads are there, but this is just like a separate network. Yeah. Completely separate from car And so traffic. we were just on one with bricks. Yes. And, and now, now we're on one with asphalt. Yes. Very old um, fashioned asphalt, but oh well. Very old fashioned <laughs> asphalt. Some repairs here and there with cracks. And so is the ultimate goal that this would be replaced with red asphalt and the, yeah. uh, the, the, the brick one that we were just on would also be re repaired and replaced with asphalt? It all depends on what municipality has what priorities. Right. I don't think this would necessarily be red because there's no car to confuse this with okay. car infrastructure. Right. And the red is more expensive, so okay. they don't always use it. They don't always use it. So when it's too in, a, in a rural environment like yeah. this and, yeah. and not necessarily necessarily being shared with any motor vehicles. Exactly. You no need really for the need. extra expense. No, exactly. Got it. Yes. That's it. And you can see it's shared with pedestrians. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But that is usual outside yep. the built-up area. And so if it's shared with pedestrians, do you would you technically call it a feed spot or is there yes, a different yes. name? Yes, so the pedestrians are allowed to be on the feed spot. Okay. Yeah. As they would be on the road. Sure, if there's nothing sure. for them. If there's nothing for them. And you can see them. that they do tend to stay to the side. Right. Somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I mean, they're, they're human, so there's no difference between a person walking and a person riding a bike. True. If you're with another person, you may want to be side by side. Exactly. And that's, that's <laughs> it's also a social activity. It is allowed, <laughs> and when we should just uh, take care that we yes. don't be hit each other. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now we take care of each other. <laughs> so that's the view of the city, but we go right here and then left again. Nice. And I noticed that we do have some wayfinding signs here too. Oh yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes a car does drive here uh -huh. when they have business here. For instance, that's a beach house. Okay. There's a little beach there, and they need to be. They have deliveries and everything. Sure. And sure. So they have a permit to use this road. Okay. But I love the view of the city like that. There's not much high not many high rises. Yeah. But uh, getting there. And the nice natural water area. Yeah, this here. used to be the swamp. The swamp. And now it's a protected nature area. Yeah. Oh still swampy. Yeah. Very watery. Watery, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the city in the background. And to the right there's the city beach. Ah, the city beach. Yeah, so people go here and they can only reach it by bicycle. Right. There's no parking for cars here at all. Yeah. But there is another beach where you can re that you can reach by cars. By car. And when you say city beach, does that mean that we're back in the city limits now? This, oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all belongs to Seattle and Boston. Okay. And probably they dug that, this is man-made water, mm -hmm. and they used the sand for building activities, and then they turned the hole that's left in, yeah. uh, into some uh, recreational facility. Okay. Yeah. And it is very busy in summer because right. it's so close to the city. Yeah. Wow, it smells like autumn, doesn't it? Because it rained yesterday, now you can smell the leaves. Yeah. So nice for ice skating at winter. Very nice. Some very um, this is a rich area of town. Right. You can tell bungalows and but we go that way. So I'm going to show you some different parts of the city. This is where the affluent live. <laughs> yeah. Electric vehicle charging. Unfortunately they're heavily subsidized everywhere. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> If we could only have the same type of subsidization for riding bicycles. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, cycling infrastructure is too cheap. You cannot score with it as a politician. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole thing. Well, you can, but it has to be on a grander scale. True. Yeah. And we're back. We're back in town. We're yeah. back in town. And this is a very special type of semi-protected cycle cycling infrastructure because there's a big blob here. That's because there's a school here and these school children would do anything. So they just legalized it and, and made that safe okay. to go diagonally, diagonally here instead of straight on into Two turns, like two stages, I mean. Right. Yeah. But we go straight on. So that's also a Dutch trait. Right. We don't um, forbid things. Right. We try to make what people will do anything anyway safe. Right. So we do a lot of experiments in this country to see, okay, people do this. How can we make that safe enough? Right. And not like more, dare I say it, the German way. That is verboten. Right, right. <laughs> you cannot do that. We cannot do that. <laughs> uh, we put up signs and we put up everything and people are people. They will do the thing they want to do. Right. So let's make that possible and safe. That's more the Dutch way. <laughs> yeah. 
So Mark, let's talk about this uh, roadway design here. Yeah, I wanted to show this yeah. because this is actually not what we like best mm -hmm. in this country. Right. But as you can see, we have everything. Right. At least it's wide enough, there's no parking, only few end destinations. So that's when you can do it, right. on street cycle lanes. Yeah. But we are not fond of them. Yeah. This and may also be like a heritage. This is designed probably in the 60s and 70s. Right. This whole neighborhood. And at those in those days, they didn't really do many separate cycleways yet. Right. Everywhere. And this was a minor residential road. We go left here. Okay. So, yeah, you can do it here. It's Let's, like a neighborhood access road. Right, right. Let's uh, pull off for just a second. I want to uh, finish up this conversation on this road typology uh, here. Yeah. So, uh, in, in we're seeing this, this type of roadway design in a variety of locations and variety of different flavors. True. In yeah. some in some cases we're seeing the same type of basic design yeah. with the red, then the gray. Yep. You know, untreated asphalt True. and then the red. Sometimes no sometimes dashed lines, sometimes not. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the 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 gray is narrower. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's wider. Yep. In general, we see that motor vehicle drivers, you know, will stay in the gray, yep. but then they'll transition over into the red when they need to. If there's a dash line, they're allowed. Okay. If there's a solid line, they are not allowed to get into the cycle lane. And the other, and the other design that we're seeing is that no line at all, just red and then gray and yeah. then red. Yeah, yeah. So, there, there's been a lot of talk around the globe about this type of design. Uh, again, whether what's the right context of this type of design? It's complicated, <laughs> and it is complicated. Yeah. You so can... here's 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 my question for you. Um, and we were talking about this on the train, uh, you know, getting here. What do you all call these roads? We're bad with names, but these are yeah. bicycle suggestion. Uh, lanes. Bicycle suggestion lane. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, not these type because they, they have the bicycle symbol, so then they're actual cycle lanes. Okay. So there's already the difference uh, the, and the complication. Yeah. So you you can have this type of, of infrastructure and it can be three different things. Right. And it looks the same. Yeah. But there are different things to be used in different situations and with different types of traffic volumes and right. with the road being a different kind of having a different kind of function. Yeah. So this is kind of a, like a neighborhood access road mm -hmm. with rather low volumes of traffic. Uh, it was designed in another era, so there's no separate cycling infrastructure and they kept it this way because it sort of works. Right. We don't prefer cycle lanes on street. Right. We prefer separate cycling infrastructure or no cycling infrastructure at all in a 30 kilometer per hour zone. Right. This is a 50 kilometer per hour street, an mm. access road, as I said, so people use this, they collect here from all the 30 kilometer per hour zones mm -hmm. and then they leave the city here, right. leave this part of the city. Yeah. In this case, it is a cycle path because there's a cycling symbol on it and they're wide enough. Mm -hmm. So you can cycle two by this, uh, two people side by side mm -hmm. and the car can still uh, pass it. Yeah. The central part is where cars just have to make do with it. Uh, so it's two ways for cars, but there's no middle line. Right. And that indicates to them, okay, be careful around cyclists. Exactly. Then it becomes what we call in North America a yield street where the, yeah. the motor vehicles need to realize that they're on a collision course yeah. and they need to slow down yes. and, and, and see if it's safe for them to be yeah. able to uh, merge over if yes. it's free to do and safe to do so. Yeah. And they can use the cycle uh, p p uh, part right. because there's a, not a solid line, and right. they can, but they can only use it if it's safe to do so, so right. a, uh, when, there are no, when there are no cyclists. Right, right. Because they have the right of way on the red. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And typically when I see a, a road that is designed like this, uh, I, I think, wow, I would prefer it to be like 30 kilometers per hour. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> but the, sometimes rest, the, the rest of the neighborhood is, yeah. but this is kind of like the backbone of the neighborhood. Right, right. And that's why it is like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it, like I said, it's not the preferred 
uh, design, yeah. but sometimes it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. And especially sometimes it works, uh, especially like in a, in a rural environment with very, very narrow ways and, yeah, there, and also, not the likelihood that you're going to have a completely separated path. There it has to do with the low volumes yes. of motor traffic. Yeah. Uh, it is really not necessary to separate all the time. Yeah. Uh, it usually works when there's one cyclist and one car, then it is perfect. Right. It gets complicated when there are two cars and a cyclist, right. or two cyclists and a car wanting to go in the middle. Yeah. So up until two people meeting each other, it goes very well. Right. Then it becomes a little bit more tricky and people have to adjust their behavior to really pass the two others. Right. But when, the moment it gets four or five, then it, yeah. it, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. yeah. So that is where, yeah. See, now it's getting a bit, bit more busy. Yeah. And then uh, people really have to take care around each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some people really hate this, calling this uh, like using cyclists to slow down traffic. Right. That's not what it is. Right, no, right. That's not what it is. Well, and it's, it's interesting too, because we, we know that you know, the protected and separated cycle paths get most of the attention True, but globally, the, yeah. but the reality is there's, you know, a vast majority of what the roadway network, the cycle network, is some form of shared space, True. Yes. including this type of shared space. Yeah. So this is a kind of an in-between. Yeah. 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 We have the 30 kilometer per hour zones that we're yeah. going to see later, also yeah. more of. Uh, where you really can mix traffic because the volumes are low, the, traf right. the speeds are low, people have time to, res to reject, uh, react to each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and at a 50 km hour per hour road, you cannot uh, react so quickly yeah. to each other because cars just need longer to stop. Well, which is the reason why I would prefer if, if, if municipalities are going to have a design like this, that especially when there's lots of conflict, that they yeah, do right. not allow 50 kilometers yeah. per hour. It if really should be there's a lot of conflict, you should get yeah. the, the speeds down, yeah. preferably also the volumes. Right. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. also works because we are a cycling society. Right. So the drivers are all used to people cycling and their cyclists themselves as well. Right. So they know exactly what, how it feels to be passed closely. And yeah. On the other hand, we do pass very close in this country just because we are all cyclists. <laughs> right. And people know exactly how far they can go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Also, in, in cultural differences, we do stand closer together right. already. So yeah, yeah. That is also like a cultural thing. Yeah. But you can see t two people can cycle next to each other and there's more than enough room for one car at least to pass safely. Right. Yeah. Thank you for, uh, for, for that clarification. We, like I said, we were yeah. talking about this Don't type of roadway. Don't use this as your first solution. No, it's not, it's it's not, not necessarily first. a first solution, but for many municipalities that do not have the funding to do true, true. protected and separated infrastructure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you may end up seeing you know, yeah. some formation of yeah. this concept yeah. of uh, forcing the motor vehicles to share the space with themselves to yeah. try to slow them down yeah. and then be able to have something on the and side. There's a nice yeah. example down there where you see dad cycling on the inside of the road and then yep. the little kid is on the outside of the road. Yeah. So that's why it needs to be this wide, especially for this reason. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Thank you. And there's some people that are like, you should not call it a, a bicycle lane because if it's a bicycle lane, then that means cars can't enter it. And yeah. I'm like, ah. Well, okay. we have two types. You have <laughs> yeah, the bicycle yeah. lane that you can and that you cannot enter. Right, right. And that's the dashed line and the, and the solid line. Yeah, the dashed line yeah. and the solid line. <laughs> and even the dashed line, you can only enter it when necessary and no other option. Ah, okay. So, and so stay and out of it as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you see the design where there, when there's absolutely this no is, no line. This is yeah. a big one. So I like careful. this one. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I'm, it's still I, okay. Yeah. I'm good on those. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you see one that when there's absolutely no line, it's just... Uh, it's just to optically narrow the road, right. usually. Got it has it. nothing to do with cycling. Got it. Yeah. So, so now we go to a, more of a rental area. Okay. <laughs> where people... Now we go zigzag. Oh no, we don't go zigzag, we go just right. Ah, you also like this, all right? The yeah. integrated uh, stonework. 
I love the stonework. And this is a cycle street. And funny enough, since the cycling street sign is not yet law, right. this city doesn't use it. Oh, There's okay. no cycle street sign in this country, in this uh, municipality in this at municipality. all. Do but you, the design speaks volumes. The design speaks volumes. So. And, and do you feel like that is a cultural thing or you know for, of conservatism just, of not wanting to do something that they don't that's no, not they actual just want law to stick to the law i think okay. so it's not in the law yet so why use it right right so yeah yeah interesting but you can see it has all the characteristics of right. the cycle street and the raised median in the middle mm -hmm. so cars really have to go over it to to overtake uh, cyclists right it is like a like a custom that you don't overtake a cyclist in a cycle street but it is not law yet so right. when people do it they cannot be fined so what's preventing it from being law well we're just testing it still the funny thing is <laughs> belgium adapted the the, the the i know i got and they have it in the law so i got it is legal i got footage in belgium. i got footage in brussels yeah, of it so yeah. they use the exact same sign and they did put it in their law book. yeah we not yet it may come it may not come you guys are just so lackadaisical. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Dutch way. Yeah. yeah. So we go that way. Maybe we do it. Maybe we don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, it gives you time and, and, and space to maneuver things. Yeah, until yeah. they're just fine and then you put them in the law. Yeah, okay. Because it's it's been it's been here. It's been part of the since, streetscape since the nineties, late nineties. Yeah. yeah. So twenty years almost. So we're not talking just like yesterday. This no, has no, been no. going no, on no, and on and on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering too about this uh, center strip, and that makes sense. Yeah. So it's actually some of these... printed asphalt, or, yeah. or little gray asphalt, and then yeah. they print bricks in it. Yeah. It's like a rumble strip for cars. Yeah. And then it changes back to old fashioned design. Yeah. This was actually going to be a main road, and they stopped building it. So okay. now it's really strange attached. We can see that when we go left. Okay. Mm -hmm how strangely it connects to the rest of the infrastructure. And there's a stop sign. Now there's a rare sight in the wow, Netherlands. Wow, <laughs> a rare sight in the Netherlands. Yeah, because this is such a strange, like, heritage design. Right. <laughs> that you, you really don't see where the cars are coming from in right. the, until the latest instance. We do have hills, man-made yeah, hills. Yeah, man-made hills. <laughs> so yeah, this was planned as a four-lane uh, motorway type uh, strode, I right. would almost say. Now, I'm really surprised, like on this particular road, yeah. that we're not on Separate a phys physically separated yeah, elevated... Yeah, that's because the road was never designed. This, this is a bridge and you would have to really reconstruct the bridge and that's so expensive right so the moment the bridge ends we get the separate cycle but right so would the dutch consider putting some uh more ter temporary or modular type of of no, uh separation not really, it's not really necessary yeah. there and it's easier for the snow clear clearing ah uh. So now we have the right of way, and it works. Uh, I always like to point out that the, the design of the protected intersection also works without traffic lights, as you just saw. Right. So it's not just for signalized intersections. You can also use it on a normal intersection. Right. Or T-junction like that was. So we're approaching a, a, uh, a roundabout, protected roundabout. Uh, from before the latest design recommendation. So it's a bit odd, okay. but it works. <laughs> it's like more on street, which we don't like. This is also a bit strange, but yeah, it was built before the latest of design recommendations. Again, driveways, no problem.
That was a very decent racer because yep. racers are sort of hated here because <laughs> they go so fast. <laughs> yeah. But he said, pardon me and yeah, yeah. thank you. And Well, it's a shame on that bridge that we couldn't do this treatment right here. Yeah, well, that would have to... Yeah. You can't just raise the yeah. one side of the bridge, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're back in Nambos, so we have green. Thank you to your app. Yeah, exactly. And also the loops. And they the help. loops. Yeah. <laughs> Predicting. Here you can see that the cycleway was a later addition to an already existing road. Mm -hmm. It's a bit windy, and uh, but it still works. And Goes they went ahead trees. and planted some uh, yeah. some bushes and yeah. hedges. This is like the inner ring trees. road of the city, so it's very busy for Dutch standards. Right. And wide. But if you have cycleways like this, it does work. And you can see that they uh, took away all the access from the side streets to the main road. Right. So they collect the, the traffic and then dump them on the big road at one location. So that makes the number of crossings uh, fewer. Uh, that's already green, but we, we don't need it now. Yeah. Yeah, this is a typical protected intersection, a very busy one, but um, we'll see other ones. And this is also typically Dutch, what works very well, these like, kind of service streets, mm -hmm. where traffic only uses this, this part of the road when they need, really need to be in the area. And that is the main traffic going from A to B. That traffic has a speed, different, uh, speed uh, limit of 50 kilometers an hour in the center, and here it's 30. So different speed limits on one road. We can do that. Right, yeah. <laughs> so that's funny. And it's red to signal cyclists have the right of way here, the priority they have right. first. And people parked here, they will live here, so they know that. Right. Yeah. Now is the red uh, in the law? Uh, no, I ah, don't think so. Okay. In the recommendations. In the recommendations. But it's not law yeah, to yeah, yeah. have a yeah. red cycle. Uh, so in some municipalities, they may have a, a, a shared space like this and a, a, a quote-unquote a feet stride or a bicycle priority and not yeah. use red. Yeah, or, yeah. or okay. like here where they don't call it a, street, uh, a feet stride per uh, se. Yeah. <laughs> There's no sign saying that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, effectively it is. Effectively it is, yeah. yeah. It's bicycle priority. And then again we get to a protected intersection without signals. Right. And it works just like it would with signals. So we go straight on. And we do have the right of way. And I'm pretty sure... We will get the right of way, as we did. And that connects, you see, for us it connects, right. but for the drivers not. They right. could not have done what we have done now. Which so effectively, that keeps out yeah. the, the through traffic here. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you can't a, use this as a rat run, as they say. Some yeah, yeah. In the, in the UK, the rat yeah, run. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I know it was a UK word. Yeah, so to, to your point, that yeah. keeps the volumes of this street, street down. This part and of then the street. This yeah. part of the street. And yeah. then the narrowness helps keep the, vol or the, the, the speeds down. Yeah, and again, there are driveways all along here. Yep. But even for pedestrians, they keep the, the sidewalk level yeah. and make the cars go up and down. Yeah, good point. Yeah. That's good for people uh, who are in wheelchairs or yes. if you're pushing a baby carriage. And you see and that again, carried... also for the blind or the yes. visually impaired, they, they mark out where, the, where the, the crossing is. Yep. And we just saw at that intersection back there that uh, the continuous sidewalk continued at the, oh, yeah. the same yeah, elevation yeah. You would almost forget that minor street. <laughs> That's a street. problem in the Netherlands. Yeah. Every 100 meters you can tell stories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and here it yeah, is. Yeah, here it is again. Here it is again, yeah. The raised... And again, so if, if we, we were here. on a street where we heading left... Yeah, okay. and left again. And left again. So we go uh, at the roundabout, and you can see the roundabout sign. It says, cyclists accept it, because we can go around in two ways. So uh -huh. effectively for us, it's not a roundabout. I feel like I'm breaking the rules. Yeah, well, we should have gone that way, but oh, oh well. It's no, <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> We go left here. <laughs> left here. 
Yeah, I want to show you something And left again or right? Here. Left again, sorry. Yeah. Left again. <laughs> yeah. Left and left. Yeah, because you may not yes. have seen this, but this looks like a grassy area, but go up on the dirt path here. Uh -huh. Left, left, left. Yeah. And then you can see what used to be here. Ah. So this, this used to be was the, the main road. Yeah. And you can even you see, can bus. see the bus. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And how many years ago was this? About 10 years ago. Okay. And they just uh, did it on the cheap here. Yeah. So it is really expensive to take out all this and yeah. they didn't really know what to do with it yet. Yeah. They are now trying to make a redevelopment plan for this whole area and then okay. this will go. In the meantime, they turn it into a playground right. with a swing and a seesaw and a table tennis table. So nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the people here loved it. This used to be a four lane road. Yeah, so, so with this backdrop, uh, when I look at this background here where we went through that roundabout, yep. what you're saying, and, and we see the old historic trees, so this yep. was the tree this line the along with a main road. Yep. So, so we're talking about a strode removal here. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And what they did in return, they built a new road around the, uh, near the, the, you can hear the train now, there is a new road, but yeah. that's only two lanes. Ah. So they built a new road with two lanes. Yeah further away from where people live yeah so they can redevelop this now but it took 10 years at least at 10 before years, they yeah. got to that point right right yeah the, right. if you do this in 2007 yeah <laughs> you know 2008 you don't suddenly don't have the money yet anyway. right and then yeah. you just wait and then yeah. until better time comes and to your point too there until they figure out the plan they're not going through the extra expense of tearing up this asphalt that we're yeah. standing on currently yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll wait they and see they've repurposed they've they with they've literally track and yeah uh, they've and li literally put a playground in what used yeah. to be a multi-lane strode yes i exactly. love it yeah exactly. yeah that's so what i wanted to show you I yeah i love, love this <laughs> i love this yeah i knew you'd yeah. love it you know the other thing i love too since we love having talking about maintenance of facilities yeah we have our leaf pile here so yes. this is obviously leaves that have been picked up um, probably yeah. throughout the city i've mm -hmm. seen some uh, street sweepers and some sweepers of of the pathway yeah. Uh, picking up the leaves yeah. and uh, this is where they go so that yep. they can start their uh, their their process becoming of fertile down. ground <laughs> yeah turn uh, the the circle of life yes exactly right in front of your eyes <laughs> beautiful I love it and again we can see the leaf mulch pile here the collection from all of the pathway sweepers. Oh, let's go that way. And back at this roundabout. What a great conversion. And here you can see some underpasses. In the 50s, this was designed way bigger. So there were also underpasses for, for pedestrians. These pesky pedestrians, get them out of the way. Yeah. Uh, we've changed our way so much. Because this is the football stadium, the soccer stadium of Certo Hombos. Okay. So on a Sunday when they play, it can be very busy here. Right. But... And are a, you a fan? Uh, no, I'm not okay. really a fan of sports. Okay. And this is the city swimming pool. Ah. So... So they group together the sports facilities as well. Right, yeah. <laughs> With bike parking, of course. It's not busy in the swimming pool yet. Still early. And this is a, a really good point. You've got, uh, you know, sports facilities. You've got cultural facilities throughout the city. Yep. But they're all accessible by, by bike. bicycle, and they're all equipped with bicycle parking facilities. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. You make it easy. Oh yeah. And now we have the right of way, but this is a tricky. And now we're on an interurban fast cycle route. This is the F59 from Certo Hombos to Os. And it looks like this. And I have not seen the addition of the sidelines on the edge lines yet. Yeah. 
Which is good because they have also a tactile uh, thingy. So yes. if, you, if you go on it, you... <laughs> so that's good. You don't want to fall in the ditch there. Yeah. And, and we, especially at night or... Yeah, you do have lighting. So we've yeah, got the lighting you here. Do have but the lighting. Uh, on a rainy, gray, yes. miserable day. Yeah, and this is foggy. exactly... Yeah. This is that new road that came in the place of the old four-lane road. Ah, and just it. because there are no end destinations here, there's no parking, it's just for throughput, then it works. Two lanes work just as fine as four. Right. It's the intersections where traffic gets clogged up. Yeah. So you don't need four lanes in a city, is the Dutch uh, approach. Right. Because it doesn't make any Mark, difference. you've got to say that again. So four lanes or two lanes, that does not make a difference. The difference, the traffic clogs up at the intersections. So there's no need to have four lanes between intersections. Treat your intersections better and a two lane road works just as good as a four lane road. And it saves you so much space for cycling infrastructure. Saves you so much space, saves you so much money. Much safer for everybody. Exactly. What is the speed limit for the two lanes to our right? 50 kilometers per hour. We're okay. inside the build-up area, so okay. that is the blanket speed limit. Okay. 50. So right about 30 miles per miles, hour. I think, yes, yeah, something like that. Yep. So. Yeah. Which seems slow for American standards, but... It does, yeah. yeah. When, I, when I drove in America and I thought, saw signs of 35, yeah. it felt slow, yeah. but it f feels fast here, yeah. because our lanes are narrower right. on average. Right. And we do that to make traffic safer. Right. The narrower the lane, the slower the car goes, the safer it is. Right. Just the opposite of what the American reasoning is. Yeah. Now we can also see on the opposite side we have another two -way cycle, cycle path, yes. another two-way cycle path over there. Yep. But it's not the same treatment because this treatment is this the This is the main the cycle main route, interurban. Yeah. The interurban. Yes. The it F has a name system. even. The yeah. F59. The F59. Why is it called the F59? Because there's a motorway, the A59, that goes the same way. So it appeals to people's understanding of where that road might go. Right. So the F is for feet. Feet, yeah, yep, cycling. Feet. And, and then the a, a is for auto. Yeah. Yes, yeah. automobile. It is. Brilliant. And then we have the N roads, which are not freeway. <laughs> the N's, N's are, are not, not freeway. freeway. <laughs> Very funny. What is it? We're not sure, but it's not a, a freeway. freeway. Exactly. <laughs> so we're strolling up here to the sign for the F59. And uh, so, Mark, you were you were just saying that you know part of the the discussion that we were having of the red coloring and uh, the cycle paths, and sometimes we have physically separated pathways like we're on here exactly. that uh, just have the the gray asphalt, and then sometimes it's the red. In yeah. this case, in this with the red, yeah. yeah to in tell this us. particular case, yeah. this is like this has a name. This is an interurban. Uh, cycle route like a freeway for cycling it doesn't have it does have level crossings but it's like a freeway for cycling so you want it to stand out mm -hmm. and in that case although there's no road to be seen next to the cycleway we do make it red right so it's not either or there's always an possibly maybe if you do that there always are exceptions in the Netherlands right so you can never say it's like this right but and or maybe yeah <laughs> and we don't have to look far because literally right over here on the other side of where it's Jordan a is, is a gray cycle path so <laughs> yeah. we didn't have to look far no that's true. <laughs> very so, good yeah okay and we go that way and we go this and way. it's called the liberation path why is it called the liberation path World War II. This is the liberators the liberation came path. that way, yeah. from that way to uh -huh. the city. Okay. They came from the east. And after Operation Market Garden in October 1944, uh, Sertog Bos was liberated by a Welsh battalion. A Welsh battalion? Welsh, yeah, and they still are celebrated in the city. And rightly so. Yes. So we will later see the Welsh Bridge. Fantastic. If we make the full tour. <laughs> okay. And we are now crossing the A2 motorway, the main north-south axe in the country. Amsterdam, Maastricht, 
via Utrecht, via Sertogenbosch, via Eindhoven, so it connects all the bigger cities. Right. And you can see this is a big road. We're not anti-auto in the Netherlands, not anti-car at all. For interurban travel, it's not the, the worst idea. Right, yeah. But we don't want them in our historic city centers. Right. So. And a very comfortable bridge. I mean, we don't really hear yeah, that traffic too noise. much. Yeah, there's some noise. There's some noise barriers here. Yeah. And you can see that this is really a main cycle route, isn't yeah. it? I like the addition of the white side lines. That's new. And you can see a nice connection here down to also the road. Also, 15 below. more kilometers. 15. What was that? Os is 15 more kilometers, so the ah. end of this main cycle route so far. Okay. And here we are crossing a canal, and that canal was going right through the city center, and they, they made a new canal around the city. Okay. That was done this century, so really recent. And obviously you have to build bridges then. <laughs> so a whole bunch of new bridges over a new canal. Right. The Maxima Canal, named after our present queen. Yes. That's queen how recent Maxima. it is. <laughs> yeah. And we can see a jogging path down yeah, here. Yeah, on as this well. side is more a recreational path, on yeah. the other side there's an asphalt path. Yeah. Which is more to get quickly from A to B. And while they were doing that, they changed this level railway crossing okay. into an underpass. We want to get rid of most of the level railway crossings in this R country. Right. And we actually go under it. Yeah. So we take a turn. And, and we you can, can use the, the cycle path for walking as well. Yeah. No problem. Incredibly helpful for mobility purposes. He will love that it is so smooth. So up until the turn of the century, this used to be the next city, Rosmalen. But now it is incorporated into the municipality of Sertogenbosch. They still feel a bit different here. <laughs> okay. The fire department crossing a cycleway here with the <laughs> And again, you can see the, uh, the smaller size of the fire equipment. You may have been able to see that there was actually a fire bike attached to that one fire truck. Really? I didn't even see that. I've picked up my Dutch squeak. <laughs> That's an indication that our at our uh, probably our lunch stop. I need to tighten up. Oh, you do. Bolt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can go have lunch here. Yeah. We're in a different city, oh, sort wherever. of. Yeah. There is a sort of city center here that we can use to get a sandwich. Why not? Let's do that. Both. Uh, Jordan and I uh, lean towards vegetarian fare. So oh, okay. Yeah, let's we, see if they can. If we see something that is appropriate. Also, no hurry to if you have a no, different but, place uh, in this mind. This is actually so. the best place where okay. we can do that. Perfect. So Excellent. good that you told us now. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just go in there and find the center. And we can see. Not a scheduled, little... but this is just residential area. Yeah. 30 kilometer per hour. So everything is. Ch it's shared.
there's a real village square down there so that's really nice actually this is a nice feature here yeah slow down cars slow down the cars it's narrow enough that uh really it's unidirectional but this is a two-way street yep it is so again it forces motor vehicles into a yielding behavior it's a typical residential yeah. street yeah but it also has some access uh, for the, it is also an access street to the yeah. city to, to the village center the former village center and you can see we've got the 30 yeah. for 30 kilometers per hour reinforcing and a raised zebra crossing yeah And nicely done on these raised zebra crossings of uh, being done with stone, with brick. Yeah. Different yeah. colored brick. Yeah. So you don't have that wearing out of paint. Exactly. No, it's actually white stones indeed. Yeah, and it's actually and then white black stone. stones. Yeah. yeah. These are actual, this is not paint happening, this nope. is real. Whereas the rest is a pinkish brown. Yeah. Over time, it will get more brown, less pink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, this is the first time ever I cycle here. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I have a, some sense of direction, so I'm, I'm guessing we're right. We must be going where I think we are going. Yep, looks like town center. So there's no signage whatsoever because traffic from the right has a right of way. It's okay. In a 30 km per hour zone you want as few indications of traffic signs as possible. Okay. So it's just the standard rules that, that apply. Right. Yeah. Less signs the better. Yeah, because that's all visual clues that people have to digest right. and process. And, and, and the fewer signs you have, the, the more easy it becomes. Which is very counterintuitive to most uh, you yeah. know, thought processes in that's other true. cities around yeah. the globe. Maybe that's true, yeah. yeah. They well, throw signs at everything. Yeah, we try to keep them at a minimum. And now we're in the historic town center with the old town hall. Yeah. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. <laughs>